Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. I'm Paul Clark and welcome to another one of my five minute tips. Today we're going to look at the subject of painting skies, one of my favourite things to paint in watercolour. So we've got four different skies to paint, so I hope you'll join me and we'll paint these along together. In landscape painting, skies play such an important role, so it's something that's definitely worth practicing. Now, a friend of mine once suggested, why don't you paint the sky you see every day? Wake up in the morning, look out at exactly what you see, and just do a simple 10 minute study of it. And throughout the course of the year, you'll get to know all the different moods and all the different changes in the sky. So that's definitely something I'd, I'd recommend that you try. So living here in the UK, Here's the first 20 days of January. So before we start, I'm just going to take you through very quickly what materials I'll be using. I've got some Bockingford Rough on a block, but you can use any decent watercolour paper. Just two brushes, my trusty number 12 round and my three quarter inch flat. And the three paints I'm going to be using today are just my Cobalt Blue, Alizarin Crimson and Cadmium Yellow. So start by simply wetting your paper with clean water. Now run a graduated wash of wet cobalt blue down the paper. Next, with a piece of kitchen paper, blot out some simple cloud shapes. The harder you press, the more white you get. Try and keep the bottoms of the clouds nice and flat and press lightly for some more wispy clouds. Dry your brush with some kitchen paper, then lightly lift out some of the smaller distant clouds. Now let it completely dry. Next, mix up our shadow colour of approximately 70% blue, 25% red and 5% yellow. Now re-wet the paper with clean water. Drop in our shadow mix to the underside of all the clouds. Again, let it completely dry. Then with a piece of kitchen roll, just soften some of the edges. And then we're done. This next guy, we're gonna splash around a lot. So I'm randomly painting in clean water and then dropping in my blue. So we get both soft and hard edges. A little more stronger blue here and there. Now with my grey mix I'm dropping into the wet some suggestions of shadows under the clouds. Pick my board up and tilt it and let some of the paint run. Soften a few edges with some clean water. Now with my tissue again, dab out a few little cloud details here and there. When it's dry, if there's any uncomfortable blemishes, you can lightly rub them out with a tissue. And we're done. Thank you. 
Okay, we're going to have some fun with this stormy sky, and I'm just going to let you use whatever colours you like. Just be bold and brave. Keep everything moving in a diagonal blitz of paint and water. Now just tilt your board and just let it run. I can definitely hear a storm coming. What can we add? I know, Glastonbury Tour. For our evening sky, we're going to need a mix of warm yellow. So that's about 90% yellow, 10% red. And we also want a purple, which is about a 50-50 mix of the red and blue. So start by wetting the paper again. Then quickly paint in a graduated wash of the warm yellow and wait to dry. Rewet the paper again with clean water. Straight away use the purple in diagonal bands across the paper with slightly darker tones up in the left and some few lighter wispy tones towards the bottom. Now lift your board to give the clouds a little sense of movement. A few more darker blobs if required. and tilt the board again. Because we mixed our purple from the two colours, you can see this beautiful glow appear as the colours slightly separate due to the different weights of the pigment. Let's finish off now by painting in a foreground in a very dark silhouette. You can paint in here whatever you want, it's just something I'm making up. So just have a go. Of course, we've got to add in a few birds. And we're done. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. I'm going to leave you now with a few paintings that I've done with skies using the very techniques that we've done today. If you've liked the video, please like, please subscribe and ring the little bell. And I hope to see you all again soon. So bye for now.